You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. Hi, I'm Linda Beach, the Ellis County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences, and this is Extras from Extension on Eagle Community TV. You know, cancer is a word that strikes fear in our hearts. And I would guess the chances are that most of us have um, uh, been impacted somehow by cancer. Maybe a coworker, a friend, a relative, or maybe even ourselves. Well, cancer can leave us feeling pretty helpless because so many of the risk factors are things that are beyond our control. We can't change our age, gender, ethnicity, or family history, and those do impact cancer risk. But the good news is there are some steps that we can take to uh, lessen our chances of getting this dread disease. And now during Nans National Cancer Control Month, let's rethink our role in cancer prevention. The first is to maintain a healthy weight. Um, studies have shown that being overweight or obese increases the risk for more than 13 types of cancer. So the goal should be to try to reach and maintain a healthy weight. Add regular physical activity um, to help just improve your, your lifestyle, to build strong, healthy body, and um, to help control your weight as well. It's a great, uh, great way to influence that first um, protective factor. Also, eat a healthy diet um, with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and beans. These foods are full of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, antioxidants, and fiber, and they all contribute to protecting us against cancer. And the color pigments in these foods themselves provide some of the nutrients. So our goal should be to consume a, um, a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables and, and uh, beans every day. And the suggestion is about two cups of beans a week for optimum health. And finally, let's talk about sun protection. We want to wear clothing, cover up our skin uh, in the sun, wear a hat, um, sunglasses, and um, suntan or sunscreen, suntan lotion to protect against skin cancer. And especially during the time of day when the sun's rays are at their strongest, generally between about 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Well, you can. Protect yourself by adding some of these do's into your life. But there are also some don'ts that we need to mention that can um, uh, increase cancer risk. And these are some things we want to avoid. The first of those is don't smoke or use tobacco products. We know that's been linked to cancer of the lungs, um, mouth, and throat. So if you don't smoke, don't start, and do try to uh, quit either smoking or using tobacco. Limit alcohol intake. Studies are showing that cancer re risk increases the more alcohol we consume. So try to keep that at a low, limited level. Um, Eat fewer foods that are high in sugars, fats, and calories. Those things that we think of as being calorie dense, but not necessarily nutrient dense. Not only do those things make our weight control efforts much more difficult, but they also don't leave much room for the healthy foods uh, that we need to be adding to our diet. And finally, reduce our intake of processed meat products. Things that are cured, salted, smoked, or charred have been linked to um, higher rates of stomach and colorectal cancer. So four things we should do, four things that we don't want to do to be able to control our risk of cancer. Well, to wrap it up, it's important to keep in mind that genetics do impact our risk for cancer. But the differences in cancer risk between people is more often in our lifestyle and our behavior choices uh, than in those factors that we can't control. So as you're thinking about controlling your risk of cancer, remember to impact the things that you have control over. Thanks for joining me. I'm Linda Beach, the Ellis County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. 
And this is Extras from Extension on Eagle Community TV. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television.